Okay, this the hearing is interrupted. They they know they don't come to a conclusion, and so there's a message passed to Admiral Richard Barnett, and and he immediately sends all the cadets to to Vulcan. And so my question is: Is Starfleet okay? This is a really bad sign for the health of Starfleet. We've received a distress call from Vulcan. With our primary fleet engaged in the Laurentian system, I hereby order all cadets to report to Hangar 1 immediately. Dismissed. So the main fleet is in the Laurentian system. Far mm -hmm. away, sure. And so then here at the Academy, where all the students are, the Admiralty is like, okay, you're all active duty now. You're all up. You're, we're not going to finish your training. You're not going to graduate. We're just active duty right now. This is like, this is like if the U.S. military was having some type of action somewhere else and then they're like we have a second problem west point you're all up you're you're active right now like we don't have enough reserves we don't have enough active military to we don't have enough other fleets to move around they they, they pulled from the people that are not yet done training so so my question is is starfleet okay like, I, I think they're they, gonna... they really thin there's not enough bodies to put around i think that means they're really thin they're out of ships and they're out of people and they're pulling people from training to active duty before they're ready. And I think this does happen in real war where people, when armies get depleted, they start pushing people to the front before they're ready because there just simply isn't enough bodies and mm, supplies. I've, I've also that, heard that in terms of like physical fitness will, the requirements will tank. Mm -hmm. It's like we, we just need people in service right now. Right. Also age requirements start creeping up like they broaden yeah right yeah so because starfleet doesn't have a fleet on reserve ready to jump to take action if something comes up while the primary fleet's engaged means the reserve fleet exists it just isn't manned it's, it's like partially manned i mean they don't they, right. they have well, they probably have the higher ranking officers and you get cadets they're, the cadets are new they're inexperienced mm -hmm. you get them junior people you get them like like move this thing or like preach these but like simple stuff mm -hmm. but it still means that you don't have enough people in your fleets and you only have two you, you don't you can't take actions in multiple places you have two fleets one's laurentian one is the one that's going to vulcan that's right, and you're putting the cadets, you're filling the ship, the, rem the remainder of the th slots need to be filled in the ship with cadets who are totally green, who haven't mm -hmm. been trained. Mm -hmm. You're so thin on experienced people that you pull from the academy early, which now messes up the next class because they've got to graduate. And so, so I guess this, this movie okay. is timed at a point of, of Starfleet's growth, of Starfleet's evolution that they're very thin. They're very, they're very small at this stage. And so, uh, yeah, there's mm. a really critical point in Starfleet's development that they can only really man one and a half fleets. Mm, that's good. Mm. Is Starfleet okay? Risky. Right, right. Risky, yeah. I mean, at some point, Starfleet had one ship, right? You get your, your first ship. And then at, and then you have two ships and three ships. You got to grow, grow, grow. And we just, we, this film is, this movie is time at a point in time of Starfleet. They're just, they're weak, they're weak right now. They're weak. They have to be weak, yeah. Scary. Mm, it's super scary.